So I arrive in Tonga this morning and I get off the plane, I get in a cab, I go to my hotel and everything just feels off. Something's really weird and I realize that nobody's outside. All the shops are closed. It almost felt like a ghost town and it was really eerie and I was in the taxi ride like thinking, where am I? Am I on Mars? Like nobody is around. I wondered if there was a natural disaster, or maybe someone important passed away and they are all in mourning. I'm walking down the main street here in the capital of Tonga and there is just nothing happening. It's so quiet out here. But after speaking with a few locals, I realized that today is Sunday and Tonga is the world's only country that actually doesn't open up on Sundays. On Sundays everything's closed, right? Everything is closed. When the king of Tonga was baptized a Christian, he, he said he, he ruled that Sunday Everybody used to have their rest. It's mm -hmm. also part of the upbringing. You, you, you're brought up not to do anything on Sundays. It is illegal to work, unless of course you work in a hospital or police station. So we're pulling up by the airport right now and it is completely closed. The airport is closed. You can get fined or even thrown in jail if you are seen working in public, as it is written in their constitution. You're not allowed to do any chores or play loud music. It's a day of rest. On Sundays, Tongans only do three things. Rotu, kai, mohe. We only go to church and we eat and we sleep. Tongans are quite religious people, similar to their Pacific Island neighbors. Over 97% of people here are Catholic and are strict churchgoers. You can find about three churches on every corner in this town. And the only sounds you can hear on the streets are church bells and prayers. I'm walking out to the main church in town to attend one of the afternoon ceremonies. 